Hello, how's it going everyone? It's Corbin and today I will be showing you guys how to install Blender and the add-ons needed to mod Halo 4 and Halo 2A. You will be installing Foundry and other tools needed. Once your download is done, click open file. After this, you're going to wait until it computes your space requirements. Next, you're going to click next <laughs> on the welcome to Blender setup page. It's going to say end user license agreement. You're going to accept this if you want to use Blender, which is fine. Now you can install this anywhere. If you change it to the D drive, I highly recommend setting up a Blender folder. Otherwise, it'll just, you know, put the installation folder wherever you tell it to, and it will not create a Blender Foundation Blender 4.2. So make sure you change that if you set it up anywhere besides the C drive. I'm going to click Next and install it in the default location. After that, I'll click Install. Then click Yes. And then finally, completed the Blender Setup Wizard. Click Finish. Next, you're going to want to download the remaining tools. So first off, go to the first link, the Halo Asset Blender Development Toolset. You're going to want to go to Releases, and then click the full Halo Asset Blender Toolset. It'll start downloading. Next, you're going to want to go to your blenderamf.py. This is a Python script, so you import AMF files. Let's go over here and click download. Say keep. Go to your next link. This is Foundry. Quickly, I forgot to mention, just in case you have any issues with this video, it does note on the Foundry installation Remove any previous installations of Foundry before following the installation guide. The legacy add-on version may conflict with the extension. So if you are having any issues, then please do that. Otherwise, you can just install it like normal. Go down where it says download. Start downloading. Last but not least, you're going to want to go and install the latest version of Python. After that, make sure you install the latest version of Python. Click install now. Yes. After this was set up successfully, click close. Then go down to your windows. You're going to see more. You'll see recently everything installed and you'll see Blender 4.2. Open up Blender 4.2. Now, go to Edit, Preferences. From here, go to Add-ons. You're going to see this little drop-down. Now, if you already had a previous version, you will have all these things transferred into your new version, like Foundry, Halo Asset Blender Toolset, AMF Format, but it doesn't matter if you reinstall it or just install it from scratch. For the sake of the video, I will show you how to install it from the disk. So go to your downloads where your files are. And start out with Halo Asset Blender Toolset. Click install from disk. Now go back, install from disk. Go to your downloads. Now in this case, we're going to go to the IO scene Foundry. This is the latest version of Foundry. We're going to install this. After that, you'll go from install from disk and then click Blender AMF 2. .py. If you already have Python installed, this will work perfectly. Install from disk, 
Everything will just tell you you have things working down here. Now, that should be everything. You got Foundry, the ability to import AMF files, and all the other tool sets needed to get these things working. I would also like to give a shout out to Crisp for creating Foundry, General101 and other people for creating the Halo tool set. Not really sure who came up with the, I think he also came up with the AMF importer. But over, over here you can see Launch Foundry. Or you can see it over here in this drop down. You can also see your other Halo tools, which are more useful for early, or sorry, earlier Halo games. You can still use things like the skill model helper. It only has up to Halo 3, but you know what? It's pretty close to the Halo 4 and Halo 2A versions. If you click to generate skill model, that'll just work as intended. You may also find use in tools like the sky tools helper, where you can generate a sky, but you will primarily use Foundry when you mod Halo 4 and Halo 2A. You can start by setting up an asset, depending on what you're trying to do. Going through here, you have your set manager where you have your regions and your permutations. You have all your object properties here, your material properties, animations, and these are a lot of tools you can use to import and set things up properly. You can import AMF files here import bitmaps here in the DDDS format. And others as well, I think. And anyways, yes, import animation renames and copies, convert scene, you can seek your camera, launch Sapien, you can even validate your rig. There's a lot of helpful tools here and information as well. If you're wondering how to get some of these things and you couldn't figure it out by the link, then they will also be down here. Got documentation in the GitHub for Foundry as well, if you want the newer version and you forgot what the link was. But anyways, these are your settings. You got tool and full. Now, before we end this video, you're going to make sure that your settings are set up correctly. Otherwise, none of this will show properly. So you're going to have to make sure if you have never done that before, you will have to do it initially. So go to your add-ons. The Foundry. Open it up. Now, you're going to set up a project, which is your Halo 4 or Halo 2A folder, as well as Halo Reach. I just don't mod Halo Reach, so this video is specifically for that. I don't want to miss something for Halo Reach if it's unique to that game. But Halo 4 and Halo 2A are almost identical in how they function. At least to the user side. <laughs> but um, you can go to Tool just to make sure it imports everything instead of just the fast version. I also click Full. And that's everything. Again, you're just going to add your mod folder by clicking Add Project and finding the folder that your Halo 4 or Halo 2 mod tools are installed. If you did that, then all this will be set up correctly. And you will also have Manage Blam and everything else working fine as well. That is everything for this video. I hope this taught you something and I hope this was helpful to other people. And in the next video, I will be showing you how to import models. This will allow you to import them into Blender and then export them back into the game, allowing them to work identically to the retail and vanilla assets. And then from there, you can add new things or alter the existing objects in the game. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's Corbin. I hope I did not miss anything. And I will see you guys on the, the next video. Peace out.